folks, Gus here, African plant hunter. I'm going to share with you a little fact that you probably didn't know. Plants communicate with each other. I know, it's extraordinary, but it's true. And here's some evidence. Okay, behind me, these are my piney trees, these big, beautiful, butterfly leaf-shaped trees. My piney trees are staple food of elephants. Now, they have a kind of symbiotic relationship with elephants. They actually need the elephants. Um, it helps them to reproduce. But, of course, they don't want to be completely chowed by an elephant. So they've evolved a defense mechanism. When an elephant comes along and starts browsing their leaves, the mapani tree releases a tannin from its roots that goes up into the leaves and makes the plant unpalatable. Remarkably, mapani trees are able to communicate the fact that they are being browsed to neighboring trees so that the neighboring trees release the tannins before they are browsed by the elephant. So you can quite often see, and you can actually physically see this, when elephants are browsing, they'll come to a tree, they'll start browsing, then they move away from it, then they go to the next tree, and they take one mouthful, and then they're gone. It doesn't taste good. But the way that the mapani trees communicate with each other is using some kind of pheromone. Now the pheromone is airborne in the wind, so they can't control the direction that it goes in, and it will move downwind. So what happens is, Elephant comes along, starts browsing on a mapani tree. Mapani tree releases pheromone to say to the other trees around it, whoa, we're under attack, release tannin. Tannin goes into the leaves, and then all the trees downwind of there release the tannin and become unpalatable to the elephant. So, what does the elephant do? Well, the elephant comes in from a downwind position and starts browsing upwind, because the trees can't communicate with each other upwind pretty pretty remarkable series of little micro adaptations over time but if ever there was evidence that plants can communicate with each other this is categorically it thank you for watching that guys if you don't know me i am gus the african plant hunter and it's my mission in life to try to bring a little bit of awareness and knowledge around african plants to the rest of the world um, if you do know me, you'll probably recognize that I'm wearing a new shirt because it's 2019 and I think it's a new year and I get to wear a new shirt. So, and this is going to be very short because the thunder and lightning is about to come. Alright guys, it's been great talking to you. I'll catch you later. Thank you. Please subscribe. Bye.